I was busy playing Ocarina of Time into my lunch hour, and of course, while playing the game, some breaking news sort of drops into our laps, and for those of us wanting a Nintendo Switch 2 in 2024, it looks like it may not be happening. Look, obviously, all of this stuff is really tentative and up in the air, and may not have anything to do with a March reveal. In fact, maybe Nintendo still wants to reveal it in March because there's not a lot to be excited about this year. Beats the hell out of me. Uh, all I can do is sit here and give you guys the information that's out there. And we have a report coming out of Eurogamer. Multiple outlets are starting to talk about this. We need to dive in because this is serious, guys. Uh, a report, not necessarily a rumor. Maybe you want to treat it as the same thing. You guys can be the judge for yourselves. Without further ado, let's get into it. So here's the Eurogame article. It says, Nintendo Switch 2 release date is now Q1 2025. Uh, man, that's uh, a year away. So Tom Phillips came out here and he uh, put out this report. It says, a report claiming Nintendo Switch 2 will now launch in Q1 2025 is spreading online. Brazilian game journalist Pedro Henrique Ludi Lipe, and I probably butchered, uh, how to pronounce that, has stated Nintendo is now looking to release its next console in early 2025, though still within the 2024 financial year. So fiscal year 2024, 2025. The report is based on development sources now targeting that quarter for launch. Eurogamer has heard similar whispers of an early 2025 launch from industry sources this week, though has not been able to concretely substantiate them. So that would be like, hey, we can't hear it from Nintendo. We're just hearing it from some third parties. Nintendo Switch 2 had previously been widely tipped to arrive later this year. A move to the other side of Christmas into early 2025 would mean more time for the console's launch lineup to be readied. While keeping the financial benefit of Switch 2's launch within Nintendo's upcoming financial calendar. VGC reported this afternoon that two development sources working on Switch 2 games were indeed aiming for a Q1 2025 launch, though could not confirm this was because of a delay. Currently, Nintendo has only a handful of games still set to release for existing Switch in 2024. A Princess Peach title in March and Ports of Luigi's Mansion 2 and Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door. Nintendo also still lists Metroid Prime 4 for launch as a Switch 1 game, though with a TBA date. Eurogamer reported last year that Nintendo demoed two hardware capabilities to developers around Gamescom last August. So... This is all pretty, pretty interesting. Let's go look at the VGC report. I hadn't read this one yet, so I want to make sure that we uh, are providing all the context we can on this because this is really big breaking news. Uh, Nintendo Switch 2 can now launch in 2025. This claim is this is going to be based on the same uh, report from Pedro Henrique Alute Lipe, which again, I probably butched up. Uh, but here is uh, what where I want to get into VGC sources. So according to the sources, they are now working on games targeting Q1 2025 to launch alongside the console itself, which has internally slipped out of a previous 2024 target. Previously, VGC reported that Nintendo was targeting a launch for its next console in late 2024 per development sources. This was later supported by other outlets. Two development sources VGC spoke to on Friday, that's today, indicated that they were working on Switch 2 games planned for release early next year, but could not confirm if that meant a later than expected launch for the console. And this is something I do wonder about uh, because it is one of those things where like, do the third party developers actually know when the system is going to launch or were they just told to prepare their games for Q1 because maybe Nintendo's launching it late 2024 and they want those games to come out uh, to fill in some gaps in Nintendo's release slate that I don't know. Anyways, Eurogamer, as I said, they're back into this up as well. Although the company is yet to comment publicly, Nintendo Switch successor was widely expected to launch this year. Now, Obviously, what we want to kind of do is go straight to uh, as close to the source as we can get because, again, this is uh, from Brazil. I don't speak their language. We actually have uh, a breakdown of this over on Family Board, so I want to give them a shout out and show because he he ended up the this this uh, journalist put out a tweet about it. So I think it's important that we 
Go to that tweet and get all the clarification that we can uh, and show it to you guys and show what the their translations and their breakdowns say. So here's what it says. Uh, this is directly from the person. Uh, it says, I'm still listening to the podcast and it'll summarize it as soon as possible, but here's what was tweeted. Then if you scroll down, here's what is summarized. It says... Switch to talk starts at about 30 minutes in. That's this podcast right here. We'll link to it down below. Uh, he has sources but can't 100% confirm it. So, again, he's not officially saying that it's coming out in 2025, but a lot that's what he's hearing from his sources. He believes everything will be clarified in March. Remember, there's this whole hey, this thing will be revealed in March. That might still be the plan, even if it's not coming out for a year. So they literally still might do a teaser reveal in March, and that might be what clarifies if it's coming out this year or early 2025. Anyways, uh, although he isn't 100% sure about it, he has a lot of sources saying the same thing. So it's a solid information. He said, according to his sources, Switch 2 were released during Q1 2025 of the calendar year. So that would be literally the end of the of the next fiscal year. He has more than three people that are working with this date in mind. And other than that, originally it was supposed to be released in 2024, but was delayed to 2025 of Q1 of 2025. Next fiscal year. So that's the goal. Nintendo's like, we're getting this out by the end of next fiscal fiscal year, that seems to be the goal. He doesn't know why it was decided to be released in 2025 and not in 2024. He knows Nintendo won't stop releasing games for Switch 1 and has more stuff left to be released this year, but everything set to be released this year are going to be small titles. So, like, no major system sellers kind of floating on Switch just hoping the back catalog, I guess, is going to carry it, right? Big releases will only be for Switch 2 now, which... That's what about Metroid Prime 4? <laughs> right? That's all I'm thinking. What, what about Metroid Prime 4? What does this mean for that? He reiterates that although he will never be 100% sure until Nintendo states it officially, love that, admitting that, hey, these are my sources and they're awesome and reliable, but they're not Nintendo, right? He has a lot of sources and a lot of trusted sources saying the same thing. He is kind of disappointed too, but it is what it is. Light reveal in March, followed by a blowout in June. And we can go ahead and Google Translate this tweet here as well. We'll link to this too, just because he put, did post this publicly, which is a bit easier to digest. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, translate it. And it says, nobody wants to hear this, but this is a pretty intense. After consulting five sources from three different continents, all echoing basically the same thing. Uh, you know, their podcast name there, and it says today reveals the launch of Switch's successor should only happen in 2025. Now, again, he's obviously disappointed in this news. Nobody really knows what to think at this point because we're talking about something that isn't coming directly from Nintendo. It's coming from Nintendo's partners and third parties. But this seems to be something that's being literally backed up by a bunch of outlets. The, the, the Euro gamers of the world, the Video Game Chronicles of the world. Uh, this person has been well known. He used to be somebody, this reporter, used to be somebody that would also leak directs a long time ago. But stopped doing it because he was tired of all, all the anxiousness that fans would have. And we've seen that a lot over the last couple of weeks. This is huge. Uh, I Look, to just be honest with you guys... I obviously don't know when the Nintendo Switch is coming out, and I don't know when they're going to do pre-orders. I know I had that retail source. Uh, the retail source could have just been wrong. I, th th that is possible. Uh, it's also possible that they could take pre-orders way early, but then the system's not coming out for a long time. So who knows? We know that Nate the Hate and others have been saying, hey, this thing's uh, getting revealed in March. Uh, maybe it's still going to be revealed in March because even this reporter says everything will become clear in March, which suggest, at least to me, that Nintendo is indeed still planning to reveal this thing next month. They might be giving us a full year run-up, but they're apparently still planning to, at least according to what uh, I, I, my understanding, again, this is my opinion and my interpretation, that it does appear that this person is saying it's going to become clear in March because Nintendo is going to reveal it in March, and in March it will be very obvious with this reveal if it's actually coming this year or next year. I do find it fascinating, though, because these are obviously all the third parties being told, hey, get your games ready for Q1 of 2025, and it's like, okay, but does that mean that Nintendo is putting it out then? Do the third parties even know exactly when this thing is coming out? I don't really know. Uh, so I'm just I'm here to give you the information. Uh, you guys can disseminate it. You guys can come up with your own opinions, your own discussions. Uh, this is, like, wild to me. So, uh, you guys, man, I almost feel like we need to do a live stream talking about this because this is just 
Whoa. But you know what? We're not streaming right now. Uh, I want to get this news out to you. You guys do with it what you will, and I will catch you in the next video.